because it's me and today I'm hungry. So today we're gonna check out some food lies. Did you know that companies put a wax coating on apples to make them look nicer? If you put an apple in hot water, it gets rid of the wax and reveals the apple's true color. So you see, I learned this in high school. If you buy organic apples, they don't have the wax coating. But like when you walk into a grocery store, you see the apples are so shiny and perfect looking because they put a wax coating on them to make them look good and last longer. Gross. Blech. Mmm, delicious. A brand new cup of noodles. And then they ripped it open and then look how little the chunk of noodles is. Like, bro, you don't even fill up the whole cup. What's all this empty space for? Nobody's gonna know. They're gonna know. Literally, how would they know? Five minute crafts ripping open. The little noodle cup. You know, it's not the noodles, but the lies that keep me full. How pizza ads are made. So they are drilling the pizza onto the table. Take some cheesy glue, glue cheese. Oh, extra stretchy lies right here. Maybe it's the Giorno's. Maybe it's a string of lies. But let me tell you, you gotta put so much cheese on a slice to make it look this good and cheesy. Oh, but that was a nice slice. Man, I wish real pizza did that. I ordered my pizza with extra cheese and I still barely got a cheese pull. For fry commercials, they strategically place the fries on a piece of floral foam, like a dang flower arrangement. Pop it into the thing to take their picks. While McDonald's be like, <laughs> like this is what you think you're gonna get, but this is what you actually get. <laughs> you know, living in this world is nothing but a disappointment. How to tell if your honey is fake. Pour some water over it, swish it around, and it just looks like a mess, right? Y'all little smuckers packets, I'm looking at you. But if you do the same with real honey, swish the water around in it, it forms the honeycomb, the genetic memory of honey. Hey, that's pretty cool. Here we are thinking we were gonna get this burrito. Ooh, that's a thick, juicy boy. And then you open it, it's just two wraps. And where the logo is, is just nothingness. How could y'all do me like that? Only airport food can be this disrespectful and get away with it. Y'all ever get these Spongebob popsicles as a kid? And then you open <laughs> and he's crying. Black tears of pain. His eyes literally melting out of their sockets. He a sponge, it ain't that deep. But it's like the expectation versus reality. As like Thanos always said. Reality is often disappointing. So is the Spongesicle. Oh, and we even got a Scooby-Doo one. And then they get one. Bro, I don't even remember Scooby-Doo to have blue eyes. It looked like a possessed owl. Ugh. Do they ever get these right? Plot twist, this company stays alive and thriving on the tears of children. I thought I was gonna get a whole entire biscuit with a nice thick layer of strawberry cream. And then they open up the little cookie. What is this? A smidgen of filling. This is disrespectful. Not only to the consumer, but to the brand. Filling machine broke. Somebody bought some bananas and syrup, right? First of all, I ain't never seen some canned bananas. That sounds illegal. They emptied it into a bowl. What is this? The Forbidden Glizzy? Why they look like that? You just got a roid. I don't know why they decided to turn that color. I don't think you should eat those. So KFC did a chicken sandwich where the buns are fried chicken. That's weird. It, it, it ain't even a sandwich at this point. But anyways, this is what it looked like. It do be looking beautiful. You got like fried chicken, sauce, cheese, bacon, sauce, and more chicken. And then somebody got it. And in reality, it looks like this. <sighs> KFC, y'all got some explaining to do. How are you gonna make it look so beautiful and perfectly toasted, crunchy, and then serve this? Embarrassment. A chicken died to end up being served like this. Y'all disgraced the whole entire Cluck Cluck village where this chicken came from. So at McDonald's and other places, when you order a medium drink, it has the same amount of liquid as a large drink. So it's like, what's the point even paying for a large when you go get the same amount of OJ for a lower price? Same with fries. I don't know about you guys, I never ordered a large fries and they shoved it full of fries. It's always gotta have some empty space in it. But then again, I never really think to order a medium fry. I always small, large. There's no in between. But a lot of the times, the medium is gonna have the same amount as the large. This company was like, you know what? It's Christmas time, we're gonna give you not one, but two free glizzies in the pack. And the average consumer gonna be like, whoa, that's a good deal. But look, you turn it to the side. They literally just took those two out of their glizzy home and put it in its own like little separate container. Like, oh look, you're getting two for free. We're so generous. The generosity is astronomical. But no, I ain't seeing through your lies. Yes, it will take one slice of pizza. And then they give you this big old one slice box. And then you open it up. Sir, this is a kid's slice. Why is this so small? 
How to give your child trust issues. Take some chocolate wrappers that you ate. Pop a grape in there, wrap it up. Oh, they'll never know the difference. Okay, hey, grapes are actually delicious. Sometimes more delicious than chocolate. It's gotta be the right grape though. KFC, back at it again with the cheese chicken pizza. All chicken, no crust? Oh my goodness, this looks delicious. Oh, and then somebody ordered it. This ain't even the same person. It's like profile pic versus tag pic. It was too good to be true. I don't even know what this is. Is that like a piece of ham with some nacho cheese poured on top? Anyway, this makes me feel better about being gluten free. <laughs> Knowing that such delicious looking food doesn't actually exist. I don't think I have ever bought smoked salmon and it wasn't like this. Maybe it's just how it's shaped? Uh, <laughs> I think it's just supposed to be built like that. You always think you're gonna get this big old thing of smoked salmon for like 10, 15 dollars. And then you open it up and it's like, bruh, I'm gonna inhale this right now. <laughs> like it's a snack. I see chips do this all the time. Here, we got the new bigger size. Buy me, pick me, love me. Then what is this? The extra new bigger size? The extra new big bigger size? The extra new bigger than big big size? Why the smaller ones say bigger size? When daddy's standing right there. Oh, don't even get me started that we talking about chips. You already know the bigger size. It just has more air. Y'all ain't fooling nobody. I guarantee it. You empty both of these out, they'd be the same amount of chips. That's why they don't say with more chips. Bigger size because you get more air. <laughs> Let me tell you, they had the nerve to sell this little cup with gummy bears, right? And when you open it up, wait, I thought I was getting a whole cup of gummy bears. <laughs> it's just the cap, just the cap, and then the rest of it is an empty cup. The disappointment and lies. Y'all will do anything for a sale. You go on down to your frozen aisle. Mmm, meat lasagna. Dang, that'd be looking good. Looking homemade or whatever. And then you open up the box. Sir, ma'am, what is this? A seasoned pasta soup? And this is heated up. That's as good as it's gonna get. I ain't gonna judge. I bet it tastes fine. She just don't look good. It's what's on the inside that matters. And in this case, the meat to pasta ratio. So they ordered goldfish mac and cheese from this restaurant, right? Oh, that look mwah, sounds delicious. And then when they got it, excuse me, did y'all just like sprinkle some goldfish on top of my, I, we ain't even call this mac and cheese because I didn't even see the cheese. This is some dry pasta, huh? Where's the cheese? How are you gonna advertise this? And then get this, I'll see you guys in court for ruining my meal. Kellogg said, in this box of Raisin Bran, we got not one, but two scoops of raisins. For all you boomers trying to get your daily dose of fiber. And then somebody took out all the raisins and got this. I'm sorry, what? You said two scoops? But they didn't specify how much. Oh, sorry. Uh, the box was clickbait. We meant teaspoons. Rude. I don't know who took a highlighter and just like Nyew. drew the strawberry filling in this ice cream, but it always looks like that. It doesn't change the fact that this is delicious. It's top tier ice cream growing up. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> you know when you open in the mac and cheese box and it says push here to open, it never works. Open, you push here. You see the box is much too powerful for that. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, the face. Comment below which one of these destroyed your trust. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click, and subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.